rethinking social development is very important now, 20 years after um, the World Summit in, in Copenhagen, because the world has changed a lot in the past 20 years. A lot of new actors have emerged. We have a lot of new NGOs. Um, we have private companies who are more engaged now in social development, in uh, corporate so responsibility. So it, the world has really changed. So we really need to think about how to integrate these new actors into social development. Um, also, the whole world has changed. We have now a huge amount of refugees in the world. We need to think about the inclusion of, of, of those people who we maybe did not think about 20 years ago. And uh, we have demographic change, which is a huge, huge uh, challenge for all societies, especially um, industrialized countries have a big demographic change towards older people. Developing countries have a more change towards younger people, lots of kids. So I think we really need to think about the new challenges ahead and we need to think about how to address those in the future. Well, the Commission on Social Development really does need to contribute to, to peace and security because um, social, social inclusion, social development is the prerequisite for societies that are stable, that are inclusive, that are peaceful. So I think that we should broaden maybe also the scope of the, of the Commission on Social Development and really make sure that we don't just address the pure social development questions, but also look at it in a more broader sense, look at peace and security and what social development can do in this sense. Well, the campaign is very important, I think. However, I do think that it should not be just for people, it should be with people, because everybody needs to be engaged in this campaign, and that's the only way we can make it work. <laughs>